out of all the hair that I'll ever show you, this one is the one. Instead of going to go get lemon pepper wings all flat, you can get you some hair. Hair to 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 a tits. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Ebony Assassin, and this, this one right here, make you wanna. Woo! <laughs> no, but for real, this, this right here, this right here has got y'all disrespectful, got y'all out of your mind, completely and completely just. I don't know what's going on. Some people have asked nicely about the deets to this hurt and how I do it, and I really, really appreciate y'all. Some of y'all, on the other hand, I don't know who y'all talking to, but <laughs> this took a long, periodically time to do, y'all. Yes, with all the curls, it was so hard. Uh, ugh, it was just so difficult. I'm kidding. It it, it comes this way. You like it? It's cute. <laughs> this is my hair, but we're gonna um. We're gonna get into how it's my hair, okay? If anyone knows me or knows of me, they know me for this particular hairstyle. Like I have, I wear the, this is my go-to hairstyle. This is what people usually probably envision when they hear my name or see me at all. I am pretty much branded this way. <laughs> Let's really get into it. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so rude, I'm so rude. <gasps> Guys, this is Franny. <laughs> Franny is our tree. We literally got you. This is my first real life tree and on like on my own and everything. It's not exciting. Usually I just get a synthetic tree, but this year, Franny is real. Okay, Franny is short for Francine. And you know, she's just living her pine, her white pine life. Yes. So she's technically a white pine tree that was painted green. Isn't that cool? We all aliens out here. Sorry. Right. Anyways, let's just get back into the video. What is the name of this way? The brand is Sensational. Curl Kinks and Co. I'm guessing for company. All curl types from 3B to 4C. Now I have 4C hair. Some people want to debate me on that, but you can't. This is 4C hair, okay? This is what it looks like up close. Okay. They mix in with my sideburns and everything. It is technically an instant weave, so it's a half wig, and it's called Rainmaker, and I got the color 1B in off black, so it could just mesh with my real hair. My real hair is like technically a color between 1B and 2, but I've been able to still finesse. Thankful for that. This is the cheapest, like, yeah. This is the best bang for your buck. Like, out of all the hair that I'll ever show you, this one is the one. This one is the best bang for your buck. Like, even if you're like so dirt cheap, broke, like whatever, you can finesse with this. Y'all got $20. Y'all got $20. Instead of going to go get lemon pepper wings all flats, you can get you some hair. Where I get this hair from, y'all? If I purchased it myself, Nine times out of ten, I got it off of Amazon. This hair is seventeen dollars and eighty-two cents. Not heard that. Seventeen dollars and eighty-two cents. I don't know where else you're gonna get whatever you're thinking, but it's not gonna be less than that. So, and this link says only seven left in stock. Some of y'all are catching on. So it's originally though twenty-nine ninety-nine, thirty dollars. This is not, I guess, Amazon Prime friendly. It's giving me a delivery price, so. Okay. The material is synthetic, and the hair type is curly. So this is as close to almost new as I can get it. <laughs> I've worn it maybe a couple times, but for the most part, this is brand spanking new. Like, I've probably only worn it twice. And I'm already sweating under these lights. <laughs> the theme is celebrity. Hurt. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. So actually, if you read the description of the Sensational Amazon link, they tell you some tips in the description. Y'all be reading the description or no? 100% premium fiber. I believe that. It's so premium for the price. Say goodbye to heat damage. I don't know about that one, girl. But <laughs> you do use less heat. Apply shampoo. I am not gonna do maintenance for a $17 wig, but if you guys want to, there's instructions. I always like to answer some Q&A questions. Can you flat iron this hair? Come here, baby. Come on, come here. No! <laughs> do not do it. As soon as you turn the heat on and it's even remotely in the vicinity, it's gonna What can I do to revive the curls? 
I do that all the time. So when this gets raggedy, I'm gonna get back on here and show y'all. But use a steamer and or hot water and some rods. Get fun with it, be creative. You know, as you guys know, my hair doesn't always look like this when I wear this. I sometimes wear it straight, I wear it wavy, all types of stuff. Is it easy to use? Yes, it's very easy to use. My only thing is it doesn't always, like I've never had the same look. Like right now, this is how I look today. But tomorrow if I were to put this on, I wouldn't look like this. It's just so strange, I don't know. Can I do a twist out on the wig? Yes, you can do a twist out on the wig if, and only if, if you want it to be a different texture and you want a different curl pattern, you could do twists, braids, all that. Is it heat resistant? Child, why am I playing with y'all lies with a $17? <laughs> Technically it's heat resistant, but I wouldn't go over 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Where was this made? This was made actually in New Jersey. Isn't that interesting? Huh. Is the texture like yakky or molly hair? The texture is more so yakky hair. It's not completely yakky because it has, as you can see, some straighter parts, but that's probably from them you know, making the curls into this, but um, it's nothing like Marley hair. And it probably would blend more with type four hairs if it was Marley, but since they included the three type three hair, I think that's why this is the texture. What is the hair length? The hair length is 14, but you know, I'm short, so it goes to my boobs. And what is the average life of this hair? Um, so it depends. If you wear it every day, all day, probably two months and that's being generous. But if you put this away back in its box or back in the bag or wherever and you preserve it, I would say at least six months. And you wear it maybe once a week, once every other week, whatever it is, I think six months would be. Oh my God, my camera is being disrespectful so I'm gonna have to go. Um, <laughs> no, but for real, if you like this video and wanna see more videos, like, comment and subscribe and I will definitely 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 get you an update once this hair completely like relaxes and it's less curly and it's more frizzy and like okay what do we do with it next I can show you a picture uh, oof look at that mm. or uh, oof yeah thank you for watching like comment and subscribe and I will see you bye <laughs> Oh wait, 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 don't go yet, don't go yet. Oh my God, I'm so dumb. So there is a hair tutorial at the end of this video. I was gonna review first, and then the hair tutorial, the hair tutorial at the end. And okay, I'm gonna rate this hair on a scale of one to five. This hair is a 4.5. I give it a 4.5 out of five because I hate the combs. The combs, okay, so let's just really look into it. The combs. See that? So we're gonna get to the comb part. There's only one big old comb right up here. And that's all of it. And then there's one big comb in the back, but it doesn't do anything for my peanut head, but maybe it helps other people, but, so there's only one comb up here. I obviously put more reinforcement because if you live in a windy city, this is gonna fall right off your head, girl. I'm, I'm just gonna be real. Bye. <laughs> All right, so here we are, we're in the tutorial. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna part the thinnest, the thinnest, I mean the thinnest row of hair in the front. Um, and you're going to straighten it. And I say straighten in quotation marks because that is not a straightener, it's a hair straightening brush that I've had for at least five, six years. That's why the combs look like I've been eating them. It is still effective, so I'm gonna use it. It's probably damaging for my hair because my hair is getting right directly onto the plates instead of the combs. But as you can see, look at that shine. It's straightening it without actually like pin straightening it, straightening it. So that's gonna really, really help us make this look natural and really fuse in the half wig. And yep, so I'm just going smaller section. I'm detangling with a regular brush and then going back in with a straightening brush. I'm totally gonna get a new one, y'all. But anyways, um, and I try to get the edges as well. It's almost impossible, but I still try. <laughs> if you have something to slick your edges, I would use it here, but yep, yeah, see? And then we put the rest of our hair back. You don't have to actually do the whole cornrow thing. I don't because my head's so small, it actually helps the half wig stay on my head, <laughs> on my hair in the back. Um, but if you want a more flatter look, I would say to put cornrows a bit. Nine times out of ten, I don't do that. Um, so now I'm just trying to adjust it, trying to fit it on and try to put the combs in the right place. I put it right in the middle. 
and what I like to do is to just completely brush it out and detangle the entire head as soon as I put it on because it just literally looks like pack hair, you know? Or like I literally took it out of the box and I'm really trying to make this look lived in. <laughs> this is like almost brand new. Um, so then I'm adjusting and putting bobby pins, putting anything. So usually I put pins in the middle, pins on the side, and then just anywhere I feel like could look more flat, I just put a pin there and really mess with it because what, however you style this is how it's going to kind of stay. So I'm really trying to make it look voluminous yet, um, movable I don't know whatever <laughs> next is kind of optional I like to do my edges girl but not very perfect I like to do my edges very natural looking very much like oh this is growing out of my scalp edges not like oh this is the style and this is a this is all about my edges type of hairstyle no it's more so like hey I just kind of came out of bed and I tossed my hair and this is how cute it looks y'all um, so the hair does look a little big right now. It does get down to a better <laughs> volume once it's lived in, once you walk around. Um, you could also still keep adjusting. I keep brushing. I keep, you know, fidgeting with it. And that's all. Thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe.